Hi, my dear friends. It's Thursday. And what do we do every Thursday? We do Fairy Garden Thursday. And this is my very first co-hostess for this Fairy Garden Thursday. She's always awesome and always sharing something to share with us. And she always has a creative eye and does some great DIY projects. Look at these little miniature fairy gardens in lanterns. Go check her out and see how she put them together. She does a great job with all of her videos. This is my second co-host is Sandry's Home Decorating Garden. She does a beautiful job on fairy gardens, gardening, and always has something wonderful to share with you. Fairy Garden Thursday, you can put your video up anytime on Thursday. Just make sure you use hashtag Fairy Garden Thursday. And please go check out my awesome co-hostesses. They all did a beautiful job on their Fairy Garden Thursday videos, as always. My third co-hostess is growing on Vancouver Island. She always does a wonderful job and always shares a lot of great gardening tips, fairy gardens, gardening indoors, outdoors, sharing lots of different things on her channel. And she does a lot of things to show you how you can put beautiful displays together for free also. Go check out all the wonderful things she shares every week about gardening and fairy gardens. Now let's go and see what grandma did this week. I went and did a little bit of shopping this week at Dollar Tree, spent my budget, and I'm gonna share with you what I got. And I'm gonna make a little fairy village today. So sit down with your cup of tea and see what I'm gonna share. Today we are going to be working on this container. I've taken all the fairy accessories out and we're going to put a little new fairy garden in here with our new Dollar Tree fairy accessories. I covered up my dirt with some grass clippings. They're old grass clippings, so they're not the best. And some leaves, but I don't like looking at just dirt. I like it to look like we're out in the forest. The little fairy houses are bigger than they used to be, I think. At least these I, I bought this time did. This is a fairy house I bought a year or two ago. And this is the new one. As you can see, they both look pretty good shape. Even though this one has been out in the garden probably for a couple of years. But the new ones seem a little bit bigger, and I guess that would help offset the extra cost. Just thought I would share that too.